What happens now? Now? <laughs> Let's go practice medicine. Believe how much this hurts. Archimedes? Freedom! What's going on YouTube? I'm doing a gameplay commentary. Um, hope you like that intro. He he he. Anyway, today I'm doing some, uh, this is the Meet the Medic video that I'm making. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell you how I play the Medic. Hold on a second. Just need to shut that door. Okay. Um, Meet the Medic video. So basically, um, there's two types of Medics you can do. You can be a Field Medic, or you can generally be a Medic that pockets just one person specifically. Um, I'm just gonna be both all. Th I'm just gonna be both at once. You know, um, typically I just like to be a field medic until I realize there's somebody useful enough to heal. You know, um, typically as a medic you want to stay out of danger, um, know when to retreat because building up your Uber is also really important, and losing your Uber can really suck. Typically how a professional medic will do it is they will just stay out of danger for as long as they possibly can. Also, little tip, as you just noticed, look fucking behind you. Oh! Sun on a stick! Beautiful! So basically, um, as a medic, as a pro medic or just in general a skilled medic if you want to improve your medic play just heal your team um, generally cycle through healers if you see another medic make sure to also overheal him it gives him a better chance of also doing the same job you're trying to do such as this we're both overhealing each other um, you basically just want to make sure that you're healing you and your team at once basically so keep everyone alive at once if you can sorry it's just hard to like explain what I'm trying to do as I'm doing a lot of commentary because I always do a lot of commentaries so I roll <clears throat> okay sorry um as a medic your job is to just keep your team alive uh, it's probably the most pivotal role this game possesses you know I'm, a good medic can really change the face of the battlefield for the entire game I'm on fire See as I'm cycling through people and overhealing them? Bas basically not taking my own advice into suggestion here. That medic, if that guy's still around here. Oh, well, we won. So, anyway. Um, in the beginning of the round, also you're going to watch, I'm going to overheal the demo men Because the demo men's rollouts on this map, which is a CP process, their job is they're gonna want to get to the beginning as quick as possible so 
I'm gonna heal overheal the the demo men. Specifically if they're good enough they'll know how to do a rollout to get to you know the position quicker. Um Soldiers and Devil Man, sorry. Okay. So as a medic you just wanna ignore damage, no one to back out. Even if you're in even if you're you know, even if you know your team's gonna lose or even if you know the person you're healing is gonna die and you're in a bad situation, back out. Cause you need to save the Uber. You know, throwing an Uber just to make sure that somebody just to like for no reason to make like just stay in battle is completely pointless. Come here. Jesus Christ. Always check behind you. Um, you don't want spies intercepting you. Like you can look around as you're healing. You don't need to always just stay on one target. So I got a new beer. Let's go use this shit. Who is the top target on my team? Citizens. Davy Jones. Good. No, I don't know. That guy seems good enough. Let's go, sucker. Let's. I got a Uber, man. Go in. I don't know why I blew that Uber there. That was completely a waste. So you don't want to do that at all. Don't blow Ubers. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. So yeah, um, I think I'm the only person healing this entire team. So I'm trying my best. There's like fucking three people that. There's like three people who are losing health as we speak. Yeah, so I was looking at this while I started just checking the time on this because I don't keep a time log of how long my shit's going on for. So basically, you just want to keep your entire team alive at the same time as keeping yourself alive. I don't know how that guy got me. I really don't. <clears throat> anyway, if you really like, see, so yeah, I just I keep repeating myself. I don't know why, but keep yourself alive. Kill your team, cycle through overheals, because if you overheal your entire team. Also, which is a pro move if I get the chance of getting an Uber shortly, which I hope I know I will. Um, you could cycle through your Uber by at least giving your Uber to three different people, such as if you, because the once you um, Uber somebody and heal them, they actually have the Uber vulnerability for two seconds without you actually, two or three seconds I believe. Without you actually like healing them and give, continuously giving them the Uber, so you can spread the Uber out between like three or like two or three people as you like make an offensive charge. So not only are you Ubered, some other guys Uber, but you can Uber two other people at the same fucking time, and that's OP. That's a little tip that a lot of people don't realize. Um, utilize. Also, like you know, just look around as well and. Uh, Whenever people call for medic, make sure to heal them as well, but just cycle through and make sure, like, just look around too. You can tell if people are low health or not just by the way they're playing or by the actions they choose at the particular moment. Get that guy, motherfucker. I'll do it for you. And that guy just did a big rollout, so he's gone. Um, I got you. I'm gonna, might have, I might have to Uber a scout. So I'm gonna leave that guy. Oh, I blew the Uber. Oh, I don't know how the scattergun does so much damage. I would think it was full health. Um, so I blew that Uber. That's stupid. But you know, you're not going for points. You're not going for you know top leaderboard. You're you're just generally going for um, survivability for your team. You're like you you're the most priority on the team to keep alive. Fucking scouts always wanna fuck with me. Not even a single needle hit. <clears throat> so you're the top priority in the team, you know like <clears throat> a good medic on a team of half skilled people is always well. You know, I uh, like, I was playing earlier as I was just practicing before I did the video because I usually like to, you know, to practice whatever I'm playing before I play it to make sure that the video is maximum beastliness as possible. Um, yeah. So keep doing that. Uh, also, try to get your Uber saws. Like this guy here. I'm trying to catch up to him so I can Uber saw him. So now I have a 50% Uber charged. Also try to Uber saw whenever you can. That is always beneficial because now I have 50% of my Uber charge without even healing anybody. 
stay away from obstacles so see as I just did there um, if there's a big battlefield going on you know it's a checkpoint or like a prioritized point where there's gonna be a lot of action just stay behind buildings and make sure you can still heal at the same time this generally isn't this good as a video I thought it'd be but you know hopefully my tips are very important you know if you're paying attention as I was not there um, You'll see that some of the things I apply will save your life if you choose to play Medic or ever do randomly. Like I said, you're not going for most points, you're not going for kills or any of this bullshit. You're basically just going to keep your team alive and to help them get the points and win the game. A Medic is a purely fucking, purely just a supportive class, it's nothing more than that. There's nobody at overheal. Oh, shit. Come here. And the blood slogger also gives you health. You know if you have opportunity to get some free health without sacrificing healing your teammates, that guy's bad at rocket jumping. I'm trying to get this. Come here, come here. Okay, not worth. I gotcha. Sugar Cube Infinity. Also, you, like if you're just in pubs like I am now, I have no, I don't know anybody in this game at the moment. I'm just pugging it up. But if you look in the scoreboard and you see the top players in your team, I'm doing a really shitty job because I'm trying to explain things at the same time. I usually, just randomly talk. But if you look on the top of your scoreboard, you can see that Sugar Cube Infinity, the guy I was just healing, was on the top of the leaderboard for my team. Well, second or top three, whatever. Uh, so generally you want to prioritize targets for your ubers and your healing mostly in the people you know that are going to use it more, most efficiently so that guy went that way I went this way <clears throat> you can also like if you like I said the uber thing like this is way there's a lot of good ways to utilize the medic in a proper form such as like you know hiding behind corners Typically, I like to hide around the corners as much as I can, but I like to just be all over. Like, I like to be a scout medic for one. Yeah, see, there's a soldier prioritizing me. I gotta walk away from that. Maybe this dumb man could take some, some work down. When I know people are taking damage and shit, I'll walk over here and heal this guy. Well, why not? Why not? He deserves it. He's doing a good job. I think he's leading our team, yep. So I know that he's a prioritized for the Uber. So first of all, he's just beast in them anyway. But even though you're pocketing, you want to switch over and heal people like this guy that don't call medic, which I don't know why if you know there's a medic in the area. So get in there, fool. I got an Uber Sugar Cube. I had to pop that because I really didn't know if I was going to survive. So look, here, uh, I can see somebody. So see, he got, he's got invulnerability for at least two seconds. I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a good example. Just hold on. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but at least 20 minutes or more. I hope. It takes so long to render these videos in 720. But fuck it, whatever. Shit, there's a fucking heavy. See, see, I didn't utilize my own tips properly in that way because I'm talking, but um. You know, typically speaking, you just you just want to stay alive, preserve the Uber as much as you can, and heal your teammates. Also, using the Uber saw effectively when you can. Just laying down some damage on that guy. That guy is just I don't know, rocket jumping with Mark and Gardner, just being an asshole. But I guess he can do what he wants. To. It's his choice. Come here, come here, scout. I'm actually playing kind of shitty right now, I'm real tired, I was actually yawning a bunch before I made this video, but I want to put, update more videos frequently on this channel, more than just once every little while. I'm going to start doing them every day or two. Don't hold me on it, but I think this is the second day of the last video I released, so that can that could work. Um, this is bad because there's a heavy up there, so I'm going to rock away from this. Grab this health and try to find somebody to heal. He's on the point. I'm just gonna come over here and heal this guy. Hopefully he'll kill that guy that's dominating me, which really hope he does. Probably won't. Yeah. 
Salute to you! Anyway, so today was the patch up day too. Citizen I have over, get in there bruh. So communicating with the team is a go. What do you go? You're gonna blow my Uber and I'm gonna fucking get stabbed or something. Go right in the base, go right in the base. That was bad. You gonna do anything with the Uber or what? Uh, not a lot, but you know, at least because it's a distraction, while the rest of the team I'd hope is doing a decent amount of job. That's a spy right there, that pyro, I guarantee it. I guess you didn't notice that one. <laughs> Fuck it, whatever, whatever. I'm doing my job, you know? Keeping people alive, heal doing some healing, you know, good stuff. I was really hoping that guy was going to utilize the fucking Uber a little bit more effectively, but... <sighs> Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. That guy doesn't give a shit. I just fell off there again, late night. I decided to just do medic because I'm lazy. So you know what? I ended up coming up on third in the leaderboards. My team won. Um, I did my job. We won, you know? It's not solely my my work. So, so right in the beginning, I'm gonna look for the nearest demo male, which is that guy. And there's this guy. If they're good, they would have done a rollout right there, which I don't think he did. I'm just gonna stick by here and overheal all these soldiers, because they know what they're doing. Actually, that's pretty decent. Nice, nice. I like playing with people who actually know how to do rollouts, and probably. If that guy just seriously uber evil cavered our entire team. Fucking beast. Props to that nigga. Anyway, excuse my racism. <laughs> I listen to a lot of uh, Biggie Smalls. Um, yeah, I don't know. So the update came out today. Apparently the Saharan spy got removed. <sighs> Ignore my yawning, I apologize. Um, <clears throat> So the Saharan Spy thing, apparently, I don't know if it got removed fully, but apparently like the set bonus or whatever is gone. The uh, the Dead Ring apparently got a boost, I don't know if anybody read the patch notes, but you now take less damage for the like cloak, like as far as much as the cloak diminishes. So, um, you know, if your cloak's about to run out and you're getting attacked, you'll take less damage, basically, is what I was trying to say more effectively. I'm gonna peace out of here with 20 health, almost a 60% overcharge, and go grab health. I think there's a health pipe. No, it's ammo. Whatever. We'll get. We'll make a run all the way here. I want strange medic again. I actually, I actually do. You know, appreciate playing medic. It's actually, it's a good supporter class. You get a lot of assists, so you still get a lot of points too if you heal the appropriate people. And yeah. I gotcha, I gotcha. I am on fire. Thanks, mate. I got Uber, man. Get in there. Get in there, get in there. Okay, so see if there's anybody else around me I can show what I was talking about. No, there isn't. Whatever. I'll just keep this guy Ubered. He did some work, actually. I'm pretty pretty glad I Ubered him. Good work, good work. Wait, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Wait, where is he? Come here, stand still, fuck. I'm trying to get you, relax. I wish the meta gun had a higher charge rate for heal. Just make sure they weren't gonna clear there. So yeah, basically I give all my tips to stay alive, keep your team alive, and if you have a friend in the pocket, that's even better if you know he's adequate enough to receive your Ubers and heals. 
The main shirt also heal people around you. Uh, as well as pocketing. Uh, pocketing effectively would be like Sam healing this guy, but I know the guy next to me is low health. But, and I know uh, I see. Okay, so there. Look at that. See? That's how you that's how you Uber more than one person at the same time. You could Uber literally two to three people at the same time, and you're invulnerable the whole time as well. So I just showed basically what I was talking about. So you can utilize that. I don't know if many people notice that. I've noticed that in the professional being ESCA or UGC. I've noticed. Oh, excuse me, sorry. That um, they do that. That the pro medics would rotate their Uber charge priority. And a bunch of mo bunch of people, except for just one person, would be Ubered and vulnerable. Certainly, things like that, you know, it'll keep you going. Like I have an 11, I have 19 assists, 11,000 healing, second on the leaderboard. So that's how you play medic. Uh, I guess I'll do one more round. I got the recording anyway. I probably play some more afterwards. I'm gonna go try the new map. Standing. Holy shit! Random bug just appeared on my screen. Hold on a second, I just need to eliminate this bug. Um, my cat is non-effective because he didn't get rid of that bug. Or she, I should say. You know, you expect a cat to be a beast at killing bugs and... Basically does nothing. Um, yeah. Come back here. Alright, focus. That bug was huge though. I don't even know what that was, but crossbreed between what the fuck and holy shit. That's pretty much what that bug was about. Anyway, I'm taking requests for my next video. Uh, shit balls. Um, I'm taking requests for my next video for a class and possible loadout. If you watch my videos and you like them, leave a comment in the comment section. You know, like and subscribe as well. That always helps, but. If you want to see a particular loadout and or a class, then, you know, I was going to do like a spy or scout one and, or a soldier one, this one, but I just did medic. If you like any particular setup and or class, leave it in the comment section. Uh, or, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I read my comment sections in the inbox every day when I wake up and throughout the day I always glance back at it because I'm usually on YouTube when, whenever I'm not doing anything. Give me your spot. Scout. Give me that health. Another thing all players should know, if I'm healing you and you take the fucking health packs off the ground, don't do that. I'm supposed to collect those health packs whenever you're getting the heals. I hate when people do that. Like, I'm pocketing you, but yet you're feeling the need to take the health packs that spawn. That, the only way I can get healed unless I'm using the quick fix. So, I don't know about that. I don't know why people do that, but they do it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be working on an intro for my videos. Like, um, like I don't know. After this, I think I might go play on Star Server. Sorry, I'm just in the zone here. Too many people call a medic. <laughs> it's only me healing an entire team. Oh well, we won again. Well, I guess it'll be a pretty. Well, it's not that quick of a video. Um, 20 minutes or so. Hope you guys liked it. Um, like, subscribe, and comment in the section if you'd like a particular class setup and or you know loadout or whatever. Um, hope you guys liked it. It's my medic tips. I can do one for every class, which I guess I might just start doing. Hope you guys liked it, and peace. More to come.